Um, I bet you guys wonder where I've been for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I, as you guys know, I had left off with uh, getting my hair cut, and I talked about Miami, and talked about dealing with some haters that are not ha happy with uh, people like me using uh, crowdfunding sites like GoFundMe because they think that they're begging campaigns. You guys also said, saw I was uh, planning on getting my hair cut, and shortly after uh, I made this video, I got on the bus and got my hair cut, went grocery shopping, and I decided to go with this fun uh, undercut look. Uh, I was going to go with the traditional pixie again, uh, like what Jennifer Goodwin wears, but I decided to go for this fun undercut for the summer because A, I wanted to shave off most of that pink. It was driving me crazy, and B, my hair was just getting really dry from the hair dye. And then, too, uh, I just thought it was kind of unique. I mean, this look was actually inspired by another vlogger and her husband. They are backpacking across uh, the world right now because uh, they uh, are volunteering at different places in order to travel and exchange. And so, uh, Elia... Uh, had cut all of her hair off uh, before she left. Uh, this uh, That's the wife, and then her husband's name is Steven. And so if you want to know more about Elia, you can click up, click right here. Um, that's their intro video. That's before she cuts her hair off. But uh, that's where I got the idea from. So um, anyway, uh, as you guys know, I was planning on uh, going to Miami in... Uh, in July, which is next month, and I'd book my ticket and everything on SouthwestAirlines.com. You guys also know I was planning on uh, doing a trip to Chi Town. Well, here is an update for both. So, the good news is that I raised uh, all of the money that I had requested for my uh, trip to Chicago. And I thank you to Matt Epstein, and I thank you to my cousin, and I thank you to. Uh, those of you that supported me, and I can't wait to show you the pictures and show you the blogs and the things I'm going to write about. Uh, and actually, the other good news is I'm getting ready to head to Chi Town tomorrow, and I am actually going to uh, take some footage off my phone because I haven't had a chance to remove it yet. And again, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to uh, post anything, but I have. Uh, Lots of video content that I need to edit, and I need to put it on this little drive so that I have the next lineup of vlogs. I've just been super busy. Number one, uh, I uh, have been traveling for work. Like in June, at the end of June, the beginning of June, I went to uh, Jekyll Island, Georgia, which is one of my favorite places. We had a special retreat there, and I shot some vlog footage. Uh, you can check that out pretty soon. And then number two, uh, I uh, just dove into summer classes. And originally, I was going to take biology this summer. And this biology that I was planning on taking turns out to be the same bio that I took when I was earning my associate degree at Georgia Perimeter College in uh, 2008, which was 10 years ago. They just changed the number of the course. Um, I was confused, though, by at least three or four different advisors suggesting that I take one more bio at the lab, and then this guy, who is my senior counselor, yes, I'm a senior now, had suggested that I consider, or I consider doing the other. So I've been trying to focus on school, trying not to goof off, trying to make sure I have all my studies done before I go to uh, Chinatown tomorrow. So that's that. But uh, I'm in the process of getting ready to pack and... Granted, I bought myself a brand new suitcase, which is a spinner. However, a few things came in mind. So number one, I'm flying on United Airlines, and I've heard just gobs of horror stories from them. And I've never flown on United before. I've only flown on Delta. Uh, I mean, I've flown on a few other airlines too, but um, I used to fly on what it what was uh, AirTran and Delta Airlines. Um, I've flown on Sun Country once, which is not uh, an airline that's based here in Atlanta. So just Delta and uh, what's that other airline? AirTran. So, um, 
I was doing my research today. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, I was doing my uh, research today, trying to check in, trying to print out my boarding pass, and then I found out that uh, you had to pay if uh, you want to check in, because that means you have to check in your luggage. So I thought that I could bring along my smaller spinner, and so far I've been able to get everything in there for four days, and I'm really excited about that. The other reason why I'm bringing along that little carrier, the, the mini roller board, is because I am uh, going to be staying in a hostel in uh, the Lincoln Park area, which is supposed to be closer to Lake Michigan. And I looked online, it was really nice. I got a really good deal on that. I originally was planning on staying by the airport. Unfortunately, I just didn't like any of the options on the five that I looked at. I also looked at staying in an Airbnb. Unfortunately, they couldn't take my method of payment. So I was gonna go stay at a hotel. And then I found booking.com and they were offering um, uh, $17 a night at this hostel. And I looked into it and it has great ratings. And so I'm doing my first hostel, which is something that I've always wanted to do since my days when I first went to Hawaii in 2007. So. Anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, I'd like you to enjoy yourself now and uh, be sure to stay tuned to more content. If I'm not posting anything, just bear with me. That just means I have a busy schedule and two, I'm tired. But I'm looking forward to uh, this opportunity to vlog in Chi-Town. And then I'm also looking for the opportunities to take notes and write about the things that Dr. Grandin has to bring to the table. I mean. I already know what she's going to say because that's Temple and I've seen her so many times, but this time I'm actually going there to write. So please be sure to stay tuned for that. And I also need to update uh, my written content on uh, child development during the preteen years and based, based on some of the experiences that I faced when I was 10 years old. So uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And also be sure to check out my hashtag, Hello World of Maya. Here's the content right there. <laughs> 